Some of the clients you've acted for have been somewhat odd as uh, personalities. I was just wondering if you might like to tell us about the prostitute you acted for who, when when the case was concluded in her favour, offered you her self as being on the house. Ah, oh, yes. She was a remarkable woman, very big, statuesque, and she came into court wearing a big hat, very wide-brimmed. And uh, in those days... The Ritz Hotel in St Kilda, opposite the Methodist Church in Fitzroy Street, uh, was the corner where prostitutes picked up their clients, put them in a taxi, drove around Albert Park Lake, and the deed was done in the back seat. And the corner was known, being outside the Methodist Church, was known always as uh, Chastity Corner. Well, this lady in question was charged with having uh, what was termed a knee trembler against a tree in the park opposite. And it was her defence that she, uh, that the event had not commenced before she was intercepted by the policeman who happened to be named Harry Hoare uh, in the typical way the police did things. They made sure there'd be a Hoare in the vice squad. So they appointed Constable Hoare to the vice squad and he intercepted this lady and her companion uh, while they were in flagrante delicto in the park. Her case before the judge was, and this was on appeal after she'd been convicted and sentenced to three months in the Court of Petty Sessions, Uh, her case was, Your Honour, I admit we went to the park to have intercourse, but it had not commenced before the police got to us. And she said, the police couldn't have seen a thing. I had a specially made skirt which divided in front so that the back wasn't lifted, uh, so that gigs couldn't see any more than we wanted them to see. And she said, nothing had started. He said, how long had you been there before the uh, policeman intercepted you? Oh, she said, about five minutes, Your Honour. He said... uh, I thought he was going to say my experience. He said, isn't it your experience that it's all over in five minutes? Oh, she said, oh, Your Honour, standing up against a tree in the park, there are certain preliminaries, you know, Your Honour. And uh, he tried to hide his laughter and he said, well, you haven't insulted my intelligence. You haven't told me you've gone there to pick daisies. Uh, you've raised a doubt in my mind, I must give you the benefit of it and you'll be the appeals upheld and you're acquitted. When we got out in the corridor, she waved a wad of money at me, which uh, I got on my dignified high horse and resisted. I said, my fee is on brief. Well, she said, love, you know where I live. It's on the house any time you want it. Uh, I don't expect anyone to believe me, but I didn't take advantage of it. (laughs) 